Hey everybody, Steven here playing Red Dead Online for PC, which is actually the footage that you're watching right now. It's actually going to switch over into the Xbox recording though that I did a while back for the Outlaw Pass and the uh, Wheeler, Rawson, and Co. Um, kind of update that everybody got. Now with this, uh, it's one of the common questions that I've seen come up. And it's actually one of the questions that I had, which is why isn't it in the PC release from the get? And I think part of it actually has to do with the fact that this hasn't released on all of the game launchers yet. <clears throat> so obviously this launched on Rockstar's own game launcher, but it's also launched on the Epic Store. I think it's on the Humble Store, the Humble Bundle Store as well. And... Um, I think what they're actually waiting for is for everybody to have the chance to download it on whatever game launcher that they're going to do that on. So with this, Steam is the last to get it, and they don't even have a specific date that I can find. All I'm seeing is December. So hopefully we have more news in the coming weeks, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Outlaw Pass itself. By the way, the reason this is zoomed in is because I have an ultra-wide monitor, and I'm sh basically recording this for the 4K. 16 by 9 versus my 21 by 9 so this is actually on the Xbox right here and I'm just looking through the um, kind of ranks that you have with this now if you opt into the outlaw pass is 35 gold bars I personally think it's very much worth it just because of everything that you get with it and you actually end up earning your all your gold bars back if you go through everything so if you go through all 70 ranks you'll get everything back plus a bunch of extra cash items all that right <clears throat> And like I said, it, it just is definitely worth it if you have the gold bars. Now, for a lot of people, they're going to have to buy gold bars if they don't have them because they give you kind of a timetable. You have to get this done. I think everybody has to be finished by this week for consoles. It's either this week or next week. So that's why I think they're waiting until everybody actually has the opportunity to actually go through this because if everybody's going to play and they're on the same time line right so they gave everybody from september until november if they started it now a lot of people are going to be a month behind in order to try and get through all of these so i think that's what uh, they're actually waiting for with this is that they want to allow everybody the chance to actually go through it and make sure that they if they're going to pay the 35 gold bars are more than likely going to go through all of it and kind of earn that back like I said, some people actually have to buy gold bars. They don't have the 35. So uh, definitely something to think about. But that's my thought on this, and that is that they're actually going to wait until the full release. Every game launcher has it. Everybody's on the same kind of level playing field with this, and then they'll set that timetable. I don't know if it'll be in December. My best guess is end of December all the way up until March. They may wait and launch it a little bit later. They may wait to kind of iron out a lot of the bugs that are uh, everybody's experiencing because it hasn't been the smoothest launch, to be honest. They may wait for that. They may have some other things that they're going to update um, ahead of that. They're still actually giving everybody the legendary bounties every week because uh, Edda Doyle was available the week that this actually launched. So uh, there's still updating certain things but i think they're going to hammer out the bugs first let everybody get the actual game launcher and then they'll pull the plug on this because um with this it, they already have everything right um it's just really transferring everything over at this point so um i think that they're just waiting for the right moment basically so it's definitely in my opinion going to come they wouldn't just not have this they already have everything there right like i said they just literally have to port it over so we'll see my best guess being end of december the at the latest march but i don't even think it'll take that long like i said i, th I think that we'll see that basically available before then but i also think that we'll know for sure in the next two to three weeks um, what's going on with that because they still haven't announced that official release date for steam that i've seen they're just vaguely saying december which is kind of odd so I don't know if there was a falling out with Steam or whatever it may be with that, that every other store is getting it and Steam is the last to get it, but um, I didn't dig too deep on that one. 
um, just a little a handful of threads on reddit and stuff like that so that is it everybody if you like the video hit the like button for me i also want to hear from you guys too in the comment section what do you guys think when do you think this is actually going to come to pc do you think it's coming to pc um, because i could be 100 percent wrong on this uh, and they could not do it at all i think that'd be really weird for them to do but i mean it it's in the the realm of possibility um, where they could just say, hey, we're not going to do that. And maybe they do something completely different. Or maybe it's filled out. Maybe there are different items in it too. And that's what's also going to be one of the things that takes a little bit longer. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Like I said, uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think as well because I definitely want to hear from everybody and just kind of talk with everybody that's interested in the game that kind of nerds out on, on it like I do so uh, check back soon also for other videos that I'm going to be doing on the PC version as well um, it's a huge upgrade from the console going to PC I'm going to do a video though showcasing if that's worth it to some people because I don't think it is I think for some people it, just making the leap isn't going to be necessarily worth it if you're playing on a Xbox One X or a ps4 pro but i'll get more into the kind of nitty-gritty with that with that video so check back soon for that and like i said a couple other videos as well